My name is Hoyen, consultant from Global Psychiatry Archives, and uh, Dr. Janadan is talking about the myths, seven myths about sexual dysfunction. First being, uh, Dr. Janadan, sexual dysfunction only affects older people. Uh, so I think uh, this is a uh, sexual dysfunction only affects older people is a myth. While in actual sexual dysfunction uh, does uh, become more common with the age as the age advances, it can affect any group group of the patient. Uh, like it can affect uh, both man and woman of all ages. Condition like erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, and low libido, and uh, in sexual pain disorder can occur in can can occur in young adult as well. Factors such as like stress, anxiety, or hormonal imbalances, uh, and certain medical condition can contribute to sexual dysfunction of of all ages at any ages. Okay, there is uh, saying erectile dysfunction is always caused by low testosterone. While low trans testosterone can contribute to the erectile dysfunction, it is far from. Uh, the only cause of a uh, only cause ED is often linked to the cardiovascular causes, diabetes, obesity, psychological factors like anxiety, depression, and other certain medical condition. A healthcare provider or a, a the person who is expert in uh, do the thorough evaluation uh, and identify the underlying cause. What about if you have sexual dysfunctions, you are not attracted to your partner? Uh, I think this is a myth, um, very common myth. Sexual dysfunction usually unrelated to the attraction. Uh, physical conditions like psychological stress, anxiety, depression are more common causes. In fact, many people with sexual dysfunction are deeply attracted to their pa partner, but they feel frustrated uh, and annoyed uh, by the inability to perform uh, the act. Only men experience sexual dysfunction. Uh, sexual dysfunction affect both men and women. Women can experience conditions like uh, low libido, vaginal dryness, difficulty achieving orgasm, dryness, uh, and sexual pain disorders. It is important to re recognize the sexual health issue, the vital for everyone, regardless of the gender. Right. If you look about aging, you say sexual dysfunction isn't a big deal. It's just part of aging. You have to live with it. Sexual dysfunction is just a normal part of aging and not a big deal. So while sexual dysfunction can change with age, sexual dysfunction is not something you uh, you just have to accept. It can have a significant impact on your quality of life and relationship. Uh, the good news is that it is a treatable whether uh, the, through the lifestyle changes, whether through the medication or some th uh, therapies or some other uh, things that is necessary to address uh, and it can manage, it can be managed effectively. If you can get an erection, you don't have erectile dysfunction, is that true? Uh, erectile dysfunction is, isn't just about whether you, uh, whether or not you can get an erection. It's also, uh, it's also about whether you can maintain it long and for the sex, uh, satisfactory sexual intercourse. Some man may experience sexual difficulty uh, while maintaining erection, which is still qualified as ED, erectile dysfunction, and can, can, ben can get benefit from the treatment. So some people say sexual dysfunction is always psychological. Is this true? While psychological factors like anxiety, depression, stress can play an important role in sexual dys dysfunction, it may, uh, many cases have physical uh, causes or, as well. These include, include, like I've told, cardiovascular, diabetes, and neurological disorder. And even, even if the medication they are taking, it is important to cons consider both uh, physical and psychological factor uh, while addressing the sexual uh, dysfunction. Okay, so how many people, uh, what's the percentage of sexual dysfunction in the population? So it's uh, quite common and in fact, uh, there are different studies. Uh, in fact, like it, it has been reported like from 30 to 60 to 70%, 70%, uh, 
70 the lot of studies has done uh, but uh, there is not uh, any significant marker we could not um, but uh, depending on the countries and uh, different studies done in the country so uh, like there is a variation of the uh, variation of the data we uh, uh, we are not uh, like exactly we cannot pinpoint like what are the uh, like what uh, what is but it varies from 30 to 70 percent okay thanks a lot for this talk and uh, yeah thanks for your interest